need to let go of and just go mommy and come on the floor um, mommy i want to ask you a question yeah wait okay i'm coming Okay, <laughs> I'm coming. Mm. Okay, you ask it, then I will. Okay, if it was wrong, go right. Okay, so I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm a proud divorcee. Okay, excuse me to say, okay. and I think it's just the type of era that I am in that there's the lack of impatient young ladies, okay. and I think I'm one of them because I don't have patience at all. But my divorce was based on something else, and um, this is a man that I'll say I'm way educated than, mm. and. The way you spoke, I won't lie, it gave me hope again. Mm. I'm I'm literally about to tear up. So if in case <laughs> I do, please don't tell <laughs> me. I have gotten that hope to love again because as I'm sitting here, I don't want any man in my life. Mm. Because I noticed from my life experience that if you be with a man that is lesser than you, he treats you like garbage. That is the life lesson I have learned. Okay. So I keep on preaching to other women to also get what they have. Because I was in school when I got married to this man. And because of him, I left school. And as I'm talking to you, I'm starting all over again. And I'm not shy because I was a medical student. And now I am in another sector. But I, I always put everything in the hands of God. And I feel that God has already ordained that I'll never be a doctor. But as I'm yeah. sitting down here, I was left for just a year and I would have been a, a certified midwife after the, 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 me the medical school. So I have been through a lot. But this is a man I left my family for, to support him for this marriage to be done. This is a man I stood by, even though I knew he wasn't educated to my level. This is a man... I'm not saying he wasn't rich. He was rich, but I never... If you had seen my wedding, you wouldn't believe I was... I got married like someone who has been married 10 times. And this is her 11th wedding. I, would, I, would, I didn't care about money. But he and the family, excuse me, excuse me to say, made me feel like I was in for his money. Mm. But this is someone that... He's a soccer player. When we go outside, I basically do everything for you. I'm your lawyer. I'm your doctor. I'm your wife, I'm your mother, I'm your child, I'm everything. But you treat me like your family is better than me. I don't wish him bad, but as I'm talking to you today, he's paying for it. He's one of the people that Con and the coach have told them to come back. And I'm here as a single mother. And I'm a very, very, very young woman. Because if I say my age, no one will believe me. I'm very, very young. But the type of responsibility this young guy has placed on my head. I laugh, I laugh and walk around like I'm the happiest woman in this world. But I bleed inside me. I cry inside me. I cry every day. I look at my child and I ask myself, if I had followed my family or listened to my family because they wanted me to marry someone else, but I trusted this person. His family is a nobody family. It's a nothing family. My family have high status than them. So that's why they didn't want me to marry him because of how those kind of tribe behave. Mm -mm. So at this point, because of your career, you think you're better? And I've been with you from taking care of you even when you have injuries doing all sorts of things but i've never even held your hand to take you to a gucci shop and said buy me this gucci bag i've never done that you never used to give me even money when we're married but i, I said nothing about it because i was compromising my family taught me how my mom taught me how to compromise how to sacrifice as a wife and she said i am the only one that will sacrifice till i die in my marriage so i should put that in my head so now even though what you said has given me hope, but now I still stand by that thing that you shouldn't even marry someone who is lower than you because you suffer. The person will leave you. That, the way the person was brought up, that is how you're going to, that's how he's going to treat you. Mommy, you understand yeah, what yeah, I mean? I understand.